Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, your lovely faces, and your eyes are not deceiving you. Michelle Dober, the one and only, the one of the most vilest human beings I have ever had my eyes grace upon on this platform. And I've seen some pretty horrible stuff on this platform. And she is gone. She is actually stuck to her word. And she has actually quit Twitter. And it's interesting to see that she's done this. And it's interesting because, first of all, she was like, I'm leaving Twitter because of Elon Musk, because of this, because of that, because of blah, blah, blah. And then she goes, oh, I'm just to let you know, I'm not leaving because of Depp supporters or whatever. And it's like, yeah, all right, you know. And... When I see all these people leaving and the reason they give it is, oh, because of Elon Musk, it's like, okay, so you're leaving because Elon Musk has bought it and everything that everything that these people are saying was already happening before Musk even bought it. So it shows that this is a political move just because they just don't like the man. That is why. And I really do find it interesting that you know, they all got to... Uh, they all have to announce, and Michelle Dorber has announced that she is leaving Twitter no more than four times. But she's finally done it, ladies and gentlemen. She's finally gone. We are no longer going to see her horrible, disgusting, absolute, just downright ugly tweets anymore. And there's so many things that this woman has said regarding Rihanna, regarding victims, regarding... People who support Johnny Depp, people and anyone, and I mean anyone, who has said a bad thing about AH, even if it's literally just like, well, you know, she did admit it on uh, in the trial and all this kind of stuff. She will just go to town and she will just try and think of the nastiest things to say, which coming from a Stanford professor, that's disgusting. And Stanford University or Stanford College, whatever they call it. You need to be held accountable for your staff. 100% you do. You are allowing a woman who is one of your biggest, supposedly biggest, professors, and they're saying it's fine to go online and say that people should self-delete themselves? Stanford, what is wrong with you? That is absolutely disgusting behavior. And with you not condemning her and literally making her be held accountable for the things that she said, you're condoning everything that she says. So, do you feel that way, Stanford? You know, it's absolutely disgusting, it is. But, you know, this is what I do expect from someone like her because, again, you know, DUI guy and a few other people, we've done a lot of digging on Michelle Dorber. And let's just say, you know, what well, everyone knows this, the internet never forgets. And with the internet, one of the gracious things that it does is, you know, police files, offensive records, registers that people have to sign. All of these are uploaded to the internet. And her own brother did horrible things to her daughter. And she literally is acting... Acting like how her brother was. You know, that's probably the only way to describe it because of the things that she was saying. And it's like, well, if you're against that sort of thing, why are you sticking up for all the horrible and downright disgustingly ugly things that AH supporters are saying? Because she's exactly the same as them. All the ones who say all these horrible things, they normally project. And that is exactly what she's doing. And it wouldn't surprise me if her family is straight up going back to the 70s now, this is. If anyone has seen a film called Deliverance with the, you know, with the hillbillies who live in the backwoods and all this, like wrong, the film Wrong Turn, you know, the uh, those kind of films. It wouldn't surprise me if her family's a bit like that. You know, that wouldn't surprise me. But there's that one there, ladies and gents. Obviously, though, the biggest, the hugest... The most amazing news imaginable. It's just absolutely incredible to say this, and I'm so happy it's happened. Adam Waldman is back on Twitter. 
Adam Waldman, ladies and gentlemen, has been unsuspended from Twitter. And I do want to just say as well, a lot of people were saying, well, he was under unsuspended. Why did he have such a low follow count? So when an account is suspended indefinitely, it goes off to a certain server and the majority of the things, they do get wiped. But as you can see, though, he is back. His last tweet was April 20th of last year when he, you know, he is famous just for putting song lyrics to things. And as you can see, you know, the body cam and everything else. We got me, you know, when Pennington sworn declaration, all of these going through it. And I am just so happy to see that this guy is back because he was suspended for the wrong reasons. Obviously, we saw what he was suspended for. He was suspended for literally just putting out song titles and everything else. Because if you look at his tweets, he never said anything bad about anyone. He never really engaged in, in Michelle Dorber level of hate. And with this, Michelle Dorber, she's, you know, she's managed to stay on here for so long. And Adam Waldman wasn't, you know? He had his account, he came back to start tweeting and everything else, and literally, they were like, mass flag, mass flag, mass flag. They just went after him for no reason. But seeing that he is back now, oh. Is this a... Are we going to see Johnny Depp come onto Twitter? With that there, though, ladies and gents, I do want to say that I really do think that Johnny Depp should not come to Twitter. I really do think that because just because of the horrible things that we see daily and all the things that they go against him, again, yes, he wouldn't be the one who would handle his Twitter account because obviously that would go to... Um, oh, I can't remember her name now. It's gone out of my head. Oh. But uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he wouldn't be handling them. It'd be his uh, friend and everything else, his friend's wife, because she's the one who runs his social media account, his Instagram account. And seeing that Adam Warman is back, you know, it'd be nice to see her, you know, come onto Twitter because I do say, I do think, though, that if he did come onto Twitter, millions of people would start following him instantly. They would. But again, no, he probably would have so much hate against him as well because, well, you got AH stands. But what would be interesting to see, though, is because obviously Wallman's unbanned, Michelle Dorber is gone, you know, Eve Barlow that little golem of a woman. Is she going to leave Twitter? I don't know, because if she stayed, I really do think that she would probably be, uh, she would probably just be like, oh, look, he's on here, go after him. That's probably what would happen, you know? But this is what we got, guys, you know? It's, we started the video with uh, some great news, and the video just got better, because Adam Waldman is unsuspended on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.